Hi everybody, Dave Weiss here with The Glue Bomb Show. Well, I'm doing something a little different today. I've decided to kind of take you through my building process. And I'm going to do that with this kit, which I'm really excited to build. Oops, I'd be even more excited if I was holding it right side up. This is surfing. Uh, our friends in Atlantis brought this out. Of course, this is a repop. It's a repop of... An original kit, I believe, by Ravel. It's an Ed Roth design. It's wonderful. It's cool. It's everything I love about Ed Roth stuff. So, before I do the actual build, the first thing I'll do is do a little bit of pre-painting. And mainly, this is the stuff that's going to be hard when I assemble it to paint. So, basically, what I did was the interior of the mouth. And I did the interior of the mouth in a red, a flat red, and then I took some of this DecoArt Americana and just brushed it on as a pure black, just brushed it on and then wiped most of it away because I thought it gave it a little more realistic tone. If you look at the bottom of the box artwork, um, you'll see that they pretty much just had the interior of the mouth painted red. But I thought, you know, if you look at the inside of your mouth, you see the pink tongue, and then you see dark around it. So I thought I wanted to darken that up a little bit so that tongue, that very weird tongue that Ed Roth designed for some reason with two tubes and all these striations in it, uh, hopefully that'll stand out more. And I also base painted that because I want to do a red wash that will go in between all those nooks and crannies. That's another step to do. Now one of the things that I do have done, and this is a hobbit, hobbit excuse me, habit, not hobbit, a habit that I create, developed when I was doing all my hawk weirdos was to paint the interior pieces, uh, the interior of the body pieces black. And the main reason I did that was because their plastic was really thin. And sometimes when I would have one of these sitting on a shelf that was backlit, you would see through them. And I didn't want that. You'd see through the colors, and because I brush paint these, there'd be all those brush marks that you couldn't see when I, because I painstakingly painted it so you didn't see the brush strokes, and then they would come through because the light was shining through. So I've taken to painting the interior of the parts black before I started. There's a good chance, I think the people at Atlantis are using a much higher quality plastic, so there's a chance this wouldn't happen, but I've been in the habit of doing it now, so I do it. I didn't paint the back of the hair you'll notice because of course I'm going to paint the underside of the hair the same as the top side of the hair so that it will show when it's sitting on his head right <laughs> and then the wave I also left the wave alone first of all because it looks pretty dense and pretty thick but secondly because even if the light does shine through it it's water it will be okay so I'm looking forward to painting this. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but we'll see that soon. Okay, the next step, oh, and of course this surfboard. They didn't give decals for this. I was a little bit surprised. But what they did, and I think I like this even better, is they put in all the grooves so that I can paint those nice uh, flame job and everything on here. I think what I'll do is I think I'll paint this whole thing uh, get it in those colors and then I'm going to do a, a black wash on the grooves so that hopefully this will look like it was outlined almost in a cartoon style should be pretty cool so that's where we're at the next step up is to do the build so that's All it right, let's do a little assembly I started off pre-doing this so that I would have a chance to dry I inserted the mouthpiece and also there's a little cup in here that the hand fits into it sort of joints in there so you can turn it so I glued those two pieces in in advance and the reason for that is I wanted to make sure that they had a chance to dry because if they fall off once the rest of this is put together it will be a royal pain and for a moment or two at least model building will stop being fun now I'm going to run a bead of glue right along the edge of this whole body piece. I'm using red tube testers. I know some people think that's amateur glue. It might well be, but I gotta tell you, it works for me most of the time. <laughs> so we're just gonna go right, and right along the edge here. Give it plenty of glue. 
Of course, we don't want to build a glue bomb, even though this is the glue bomb show. So let's, I want to also make sure that I'm putting it on there very neatly. The one thing that I was really impressed with with this kit so far as I was removing everything from the sprues is the flash is minimal. I mean, I'm talking almost none. And, uh, boy, just these folks in Atlantis, I mean, I know this is a simple kit, but these folks in Atlantis do a very good job. I mean, these seams are pretty darn tight. I mean, you can kind of, you see them a little more because of the fact that I have some black paint on the edge. But I'm going to have to do a little bit of puttying here, but it is not bad at all. So, I'm going to get the body together here. I might have to clamp that one leg a little bit, but man, overall, this is just really nicely done. Those seams are going to be really easy to take care of. And... Uh, doesn't look like a whole lot of sanding coming on this one either, which is good. Um, the, the thing about a kit like this is there is a lot of detail in there, a lot of detail in the sculpt, and, and you don't want to have to, you know, sand all that stuff out and, and then maybe try to rescribe it. I've never been particularly good at that, nor have I particularly wanted to do it. Um, I prefer to just... Let the model do its work, and for the most part, this one is working just fine. So there you have it. He is now together in one piece. Again, I'll probably, this one leg here appears to just have a slight issue. I'll probably throw a clamp on that in a minute. And uh, But overall, man, just great. We'll do the arm the same way. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a real simple bead of glue around the joint, around the, yeah, the joint between the two pieces, I should say. I did get some Tamiya very thin cement, and I have to be honest, I, I like it. But I, I don't, I, have, I must not be doing something right with it because I don't get the, uh, I don't quite get the adhesion that I would like. Um, all right, so there's his arm. And one of the things that the directions advise you not to glue the hands in place and not to glue the arm in place. And I just realized after putting that together, I made a mistake. Well, that's part of the joy of having a podcast, having a, uh, having a video channel. I did not put the arm in place before I glued the body together. So I have to play with that joint a little bit. Make that fixed again, but there we go. He can can wait. <laughs> It'd look better if he had his hand on, right? Yeah. I have to do a little work on that arm. Looks like the glue joint didn't quite take. So, anyway, you get the idea. We'll throw a little glue on here as well. This is the wave. I'm not going to do a complete assembly today because, again, I'm going to need to do some... Uh, Some puttying and things like that. Again, not much, but honestly, I probably wouldn't have to do it at all, but I really want to make this thing as good and accurate as I possibly can and do some work on the wave here. Overall, this is lining up really nicely. Um, again, very few seam, very few seam issues. You can see, um, 
glues together real nicely and then we put the whole thing on the base. Again, I, I do have I do have a little work to do on the arm and the legs, so I won't be putting the hands on right now, but they're really just a matter of snapping them in place anyway. And uh, but anyway, so there you have it. There's the wave that's going to be in. Now, I didn't exactly build this in order of the instructions, and the reason for that is, frankly, uh, I want to do some painting before I do some of the build because there are things that I think will just paint better. Like, for example, I don't want to put this hair on and then paint around it, right? So, anyway, that's where we're at for now. I'll uh, do some more work on this, and I'll get back to you with another video. So, remember, this one's fun so far. And that's good because model building is supposed to be fun. Take care, guys. Have a great day.